A Republican state lawmaker, a state senator to be specific, would rather take a nearly 20 hour long ferry ride than comply with Alaska Airlines and its mask policy. So Senator Laura Reinbold's inability to adhere to the mask rule on these flights has basically led to her having no other option than to use a ferry to get to and fro work. So. <laughs> She is not permitted to fly with us, according to Alaska Airlines, for her continued refusal to comply with employee instruction regarding the current mask policy. So just this past weekend, she officially became a member of the no fly list for Alaska Airlines, which I think is hilarious. But this is where I give her credit. So she doesn't wanna wear the mask, which means she can't fly. And so she's like, okay. Then I'm gonna go through the torture of traveling 20 hours just so I can stand my ground on this issue. And you know what? More power to her. Great, great. If you wanna do that, do it. I was reasonable with all Alaska Airlines employees, Senator Reinbold says. I have been flying on Alaska Air for decades and am an MVP gold. I inquired about, no one cares, bro, like no one cares, including Alaska Airlines, by the way, or any other airline. They don't care how much you've flown with them. They don't care how much money you've spent. They don't care about your points. They don't care if you're VIP or gold or platinum. They don't care. They're gonna treat you like shit no matter what, because that's what airlines have turned into. So like, even if she were in the right here, if she like mentioned her points, I'd be like, just don't even bother, it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean anything. Um, we have monopolized airlines and that's the problem. Anyway, Alaska Airlines is the only airline that provides regular direct flights from Anchorage to Juneau. A nonstop flight between the two cities takes about an hour and a half by road and ferry, which this state senator now has to use. The trip is nearly 20 hours long and involves traveling through two Canadian provinces. Listen, talk is cheap and she's actually doing what she says she's gonna do. She doesn't wanna wear the mask and she has to suffer consequences for that. And she's accepting those consequences. So she gets my respect. You know, back in the days in the hip hop community, we used to have a term called he or she doesn't live his or her raps. Meaning you might have a rapper who talks about, oh, I was a gangster or I sold drugs, blah, 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 I'm a street person. And then meanwhile, they were from the suburbs and they were perpetuating some fantasy about what their life was actually like. And we would say, such and such doesn't live his raps. This lady is living her raps. She is okay? living her raps. This <laughs> she is living her raps in the sense that, you know, there's all these Republican politicians who talk shit about Corona being fake and all of this. Meanwhile, you know, they were selling stocks. And then, you know, as soon as the vaccine got available, they got it before anybody. They're not living their raps, mm -hmm. you know? So this lady is not being a hypocrite, she's being real. She's like, yo, I'm not gonna wear a mask on a plane. So I'm gonna figure out another way to get to work, get to where I need to get. I, I, like you, Anna, I respect her actually living out what she claims to her constituents. She doesn't talk out of both sides of her mouth. She complains about the mask mandate, calls it this, calls it a, you know, an abomination against freedom and yada, 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 and actually follows through with it instead of doing the hypocrisy that we see from so many politicians. So this is a feel good story, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it, it is, and, and look, when push comes to shove, if she has to do the right thing, it seems like she will do it. So last month, the Alaska Senate voted 18 to one to ban her from most areas of the state capitol until she agreed to follow the legislature's COVID-19 safety rules, which include wearing a mask. Um, so, you know, is she gonna follow through with that? We'll see. Uh, but she understands the consequences and she's willing, like it she understands the consequences and it seems like she's willing to suffer them. I'm curious how this is gonna play out with the state's legislature because I'm sure she's gonna want to be able to do her job. Um, she's obviously suffering a 20 hour commute in order to do her job now. But if she's unable to do it, maybe she'll finally wear a mask. Um, but I love that example that you gave, that she's living her raps. Um, let's let's um 
let's uh, talk about what's likely in Tucker Carlson's case. Like, while Tucker Carlson is <laughs> fear mongering about masks and telling people to go harass others who are wearing masks outdoors, I imagine he has like grade A, top of the line, US made masks by the millions in his home and he's like <laughs> ready to go. He's already he's already fully vaccinated. Um, he's been working from home in his cushy at home studio. Like Tucker Carlson doesn't care if anyone gets sick or dies cuz he's good. He's good. In this case, this woman wants to be out there. She's like, I want to fly. I want to be on ferries. <laughs> you know, I, I just don't want to wear the mask. And well, I think that's well, stupid. Anna, but there's there, there's other stuff like how many politicians on one side of the aisle have been so anti-abortion and then went and got their mistresses abortions, mm -hmm. then went and got their kids abortions, and then went and did this and that and the third, or have back legislation that was anti-LGBTQ and we know on good authority are having all the gay sex in the world. And good for Yet them. Yet in their legislative um, capacity are being anti-gay. You them. know, we see it all the time from these freaking yep. politicians. So again, this is nice to see somebody actually following through with their ridiculous rhetoric. I oftentimes wonder what people would actually be like if financial incentives were taken out of the equation. Like who would people really be? Like who would Tucker Carlson really be? Who would Ryan Knight on Twitter who like, I mean, I don't really follow anything that's going on with that, but every once in a while you get a little taste and you're like, who is this guy and who? what does he really believe? Like I'm, I'm curious about all of this stuff, right? Because I do think that there are incentives and disincentives to do and say certain things. And from my personal experience, this place is one of the only places I've encountered that doesn't punish you for your true beliefs and, and who you really are. I mean, people have seen it on the show. Jake's, Jake's literally my boss. He's my boss. And you guys have seen how we argue and sometimes fight live on this show. Um, so I think that the <laughs> proof is in the pudding. That's not true in more, most workplaces. That's not true, so certainly not in politics and the media world. So who knows who Tucker Carlson would actually be if he wasn't, I mean, he is a Swanson heir, so he was already wealthy. He didn't really need the financial incentives to be a douchebag, but he's still a douchebag, so. I mean, there's something to be said about the clout though, the adulation about having fans, having people adore you. There's something to that. And I think what you're talking about, Anna, is just, just a little truth serum. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think if, if I got some truth serum, People might hear me say stuff about cancel culture or even, you know, something like me too that, you know, 95% of the libs would be like heavens no, but there was there's nothing that I've ever said in public that I straight up do not believe. Mm -hmm. Straight up and down. Same. That's never ever happened in the history of my career. So and we know with a lot of these cats, like for instance, you know, early in the show, we talk about Tucker Carlson freaking saying <laughs> kids getting punched in the face are the same as having to wear a mask on a soccer field. Like we know, like we know you don't believe that. So it's like you have no real credibility once it's been proven to be that you're willing to say things in public that you don't believe. To me, that's just that just strikes your credibility, period, every single time. Like you're saying stuff you don't believe knowingly, just so you can, you know, sort of get your little brownie points amongst this certain segment of the population. Um, it's it's kind of crazy to me, man. It really is. Yeah. And there's a lot of that in politics, especially yeah. about the issues that you just mentioned, like abortion. So many right wing oh. politicians who don't care about abortion at all, but they're dying for the brownie points from the evangelical community. So they're willing to basically advocate for the destruction of reproductive rights just to get those brownie points. It's pretty gross. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.